Hello, hi guys, it's Ian Am here with the Samsung Galaxy S7. Now we're gonna take a look at how you can get your blocked list or your rejection list of numbers across to your new device. Now, if you're like me, you get a lot of nuisance calls and this section on my device, on my old device is fairly big as of accrued numbers that prank call me or nuisance call me all the time. So we're gonna take a look at how you can get those numbers across to your new handset. Now, if I show you the handset that I'm coming from, so a Galaxy S6 here, we'll go into the same area. We're both running Marshmallow here. So we'll go into call blocking, block list. As you can see, I've got quite a few numbers in here that I incorporate into my block list so I don't receive any notifications or calls or when these are actually received. So when I was looking into how do I get these across, there's no application which is out there which gets these across into your new handset via cloud or manual. Apparently it's stored inside a hidden SQL file on the device Samsung are saying and there's no way you can gain access to it. So. I've got quite a few numbers in here. I don't really want to type out each and every one uh, because there's quite a few. So this is kind of a workaround and how you can get that done faster. So what we're gonna do, keep those on the screen there. On your new device, head on over into the Play Store and just type in OCR to text. So optical character recognition to text, that stands for. So and we'll do the top one here, text fairy hit install, it's completely free. And you can see where I'm going with this, if you know what OCR to text is. Where once it loads, we're gonna open it up and it says we need access to your device's media files. Yeah, which is okay. And now we can either take a photo or take it from the gallery. We're gonna take a photo. So get both devices here and essentially I'm gonna take a photo of those numbers like so. So I've taken a photo of those numbers, which is brilliant. So I'm gonna hit OK and it does this wizardry, recognizes those numbers. So I'm gonna select what section of that image I want it to scan specifically like that. So I want it just to scan the numbers. Then we'll hit the arrow going forwards. It does its cropping and it says recognize text as English. Well, yeah, because that's the only language I'll know. So yeah, start and it does it. Something doesn't seem right. Please read the tips, blah, blah, blah. We'll hit okay. So basically what it's done is it's taken the numbers and basically digitized them via the image. So now when I select that number, I'll get the copy command. So now I'm gonna flip in between the applications and simply paste them in like that. That's one. And I know this isn't the fastest way of doing things, but there's no other way that I could see that you could do this. So I think moving forwards, once I have all my numbers in here, I'm gonna start using a third party block list from uh, the app store, which I can move from phone to phone. But you can see pretty much, this is a lot faster than having to type each and every number into your brand new device. Couple of taps, get your number in there, rather than tapping the full number. So I think this is a lot better way of uh, doing it. So yeah, I think it works pretty well. I haven't got too many numbers in here. So with the one for spaces, just correct it. It's still better than doing it manually. So that's how easily you can get your block list, rejection list numbers across to your brand new device. As I say, not the best, way in the world, but certainly a lot faster than doing it manually. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below. Please like, subscribe, and tag along on social media, at InamGafor. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day, and I'll see you next time.